Hey, he's good at this. Give this to your captain. I am the captain. You know, you got a nice ass on you for a cop. Oh, thank you. You know, you got a nice watch on. Let me guess. You found it. What is it with you cops, huh? Guys like me never get even for screwing up? Prison time just isn't enough for you? We're suspects for everything and anything for the rest of our lives? You want to know about this watch? It belonged to Handy Moss. He gave it to me. What a sport. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. You want it? It's yours. That's just the way Handy played it. Oh, if it's a crime to accept a gift, bust me. Very moving. You know, I can almost hear the violins playing in the background. Could you? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You guys come with me. Knock yourselves out. I want to strip this boat down into small pieces. What's your name, sweetheart? I want to make sure Westfall's lawyer gets it right. Sergeant Rita Lee Lance. You might want to get a crayon and write it down before you forget it. Isn't she charming? Look at this. It's a thin film of dust on almost all the surfaces in here. Mm -hmm. This table's been wiped clean. Rugs damp. It's hell of a maid service. I can't even get mine to do the windows. Hmm. Scored this in the gal. I can't fizz it. Jay Henderson Moss's Last Supper. Got a spatter here. Let's get the lab techs in for a look. All right. We got where. We got how. Now all we need is who. Hey, Sammy, any hot news flashes from the lab? Yep, blood and toxicology on Moss. A positive, loaded on booze and downers, uh, cause of death, blunt force trauma to the back of the head, possible fiber and blood stain matches to the carpet in the yacht stateroom. All right, we grand slam the physical evidence. We got enough to cap Chick. Murder one is a reach, but he wires up for manslaughter. Crime of passion over and out. You know, I just, I can't shake this nagging feeling about Brinkman. He's a rat's hair in the souffle. Chick might have whacked the guy, but only a sleaze like Brinkman could have stolen the watch off a corpse's wrist. So? He's still good for accessory after the fact. How'd it go with Chick and his lady friend? Yeah, nobody was home. Brinkman must have called them when we were still on the yacht and they split. But, you know, I got the estate staked out. It's on the computer. Maybe we'll get lucky the blues will spot him. All right, Sam, what do you think about my wardrobe for the show tonight? Yeah. So, how'd it go with Brinkman? Sex on the beach was a floating golf course. Lots of tournaments, big parties. He implied that Sherilyn might have been cozy with Moss. There you go. Chick catches his good friend doing the horizontal bop with his fiance. He kills him. That boo, sweaty flesh, jealousy, how that works for me. Mm, no, you didn't see the way she was with Chick. I mean, she loves the guy. I just, I can't picture her making with Hindi behind his back. Oh, jeez. Look at that stain. Uh, you can't wear this. Well, it's radio. Chris' audience won't see you. You do the show naked. Oh. Well, there's a thought. Something about being a homicide cop makes it all worthwhile. Could that something be adrenaline, Sergeant Lorenzo? It's a powerful drug. Yeah, there's a rush involved, no doubt. That must be very hard on your significant other. Maybe that's why you've had so many relationships. I like to think I just like falling in love. The rush of falling in love is like an adrenaline hit. It's exciting. It's consuming. It keeps you from feeling your other feelings. But when the rush wears off, you feel like something's missing. Like maybe it's the next woman who's really the one that will fill that hole that you feel inside. Yeah. It's all right. When I meet a woman, when it starts to happen for us, I feel like it's going to last forever. But then after a while, I start wondering if she's really the one. The falling in love part, I do really well. It's the staying in love that's hard. Intimacy is harder. It's much more demanding, but infinitely more rewarding. We'll go to the phones and talk more about intimacy with our guest, homicide detective Chris Lorenzo, when we return. Claire. You're doing great, Chris. Look at the board. Oh, the flashing red one's for you. Yeah, Lorenzo. Hey, how are you, Chris? 
Hey, how am I doing? I am fascinated. Well, something just came by Messenger you might want to see. It's a home video starring Chick Westfall and the late Jay Henderson, a.k.a. Horny Hindi Moss. Back up, Chick. You son of a like bitch. I'll kill you. Jay Henderson Moss dies in the end. Back up, Chick. You son of a bitch. Like I'll kill you. I boxed in college. Great form, don't you think? You think it's funny, Mr. Westfall? The man is dead, and you are looking at going to prison for a very long time. No. It's not funny at all, is it? Where did you get this? It was delivered to Sergeant Lance by messenger. Any idea who might have sent it? Sorry, no. Now, if you're going to run, Chick, you shouldn't have stopped for drinks on the way out of town. That was stupid. We were running. We were with friends. I had no idea you people were looking for us. Sh Sherilyn was no part of this. You've got to believe that. The officers took her home. Now, why don't you tell us what happened that night? I wish I could, okay? In case you haven't noticed, the gentleman drinks. We noticed. I vaguely remember taking Handy out fishing that morning. We had cocktails. I napped after lunch. We had more cocktails. From there, the glass goes dark. Don't lie to us, Chick. It won't help. You remember something you aren't telling. I saw the anger in your eyes just now. now why did you and Moss fight? Was it over Cheryl Lynn? I'm a blackout drunk. Ask anyone. Obviously, I did the deed. You, you got your man. Be happy. What's wrong with this picture, Sam? Everything. Well, let me blurry around the edges, but he remembers what happened. Or somebody told him what happened. They even shot a little video of it, just in case he forgot. Now, I don't mind frosting on the cake, but I gag when it's shoved down my throat. Somebody must have thought we were too stupid to put Chick away ourselves. All right, camera was mounted on a tripod, no frame shake at all. Bed was in the foreground. You know, my money says that the camera was set up to tape mattress mumbles. What do you want to bet the sex on the beach was a pro-am? Everything we're looking at here says blackmail. You want to try this again? This time, no sucker punch. No, I'll quit while I'm ahead. But thank you. I really enjoyed it. Do we need a key to the master stateroom, or should Mad Dog here just kick it in? No, oh, it's open. Thank you. Thank you. Sam. Two-way mirror. Got cable release running to the bed for remote operation. Lights, camera, blackmail. Yeah. All right. Now take the rich married guys out for a boat ride. Sherilyn parties with them down there. And they get to buy a tape of their most excellent adventure. A major purse for every tournament. Now, I never meet Sherilyn for a whore. Handy balked. Played and wouldn't pay. Probably threatened to go to the cops. You know what? I don't buy chick in the scam. I mean, the clothes just don't fit. I don't see him setting up his friends to be plucked. Brinkman and Sherilyn must have blindsided him. All right, let's recast the film. All right, chick's all wrong for the part. Brinkman, he should be the killer. Movies are all about illusion. We just think that we saw Chick kill Hindi. We got one chance to pop Brinkman that Cheryl in. Oh, no way. No way. She is part of it. She will cover her own ass to the end. We may only fools fall in love. So do hookers, Sam. Twenty says she'll tell you to take a hike. Now, you may know how women's minds work, but I know their hearts. Oh, really? Back up, Chick. You son of a bitch. Like I'll kill you. That's a copy of the tape that we received last night. You can see from the date codes it was shot the night that Jay Henderson Moss was killed. Yeah, it's something, isn't it? I don't think I've ever seen a murder caught on tape before. What's gonna happen to him? Well, that depends on uh, what kind of a deal his lawyer can cut with the DA. I mean, he's gonna do some time. It's just a matter of how long. You can't argue evidence like that. Yeah, but he was drunk. He was totally out of it. He, he didn't know what he was doing. He can't go to prison. He'll die in there. He killed a man, Cheryl, and he can't walk away from that. It was an accident. He didn't mean to hurt him. But he did. All, right, all there in living color. Not all of it. 
பொறிமே 